Pink has revealed why she mocked Kim Kardashian's nude selfie last year. The 38-year-old songstress appeared on Watch What Happens Live, as she discussed the pair's disagreement, and revealed that she hit out at Kim because the reality star took on Betty Midler. The quarrel was sparked in March 2016, when Kim posted her famous nude selfie with the black bars across her body. After she posted it, Betty tweeted, Kim Kardashian tweeted a nude selfie today. If Kim wants us to see a part of her we've never seen, she's gonna have to swallow the camera. Kim clapped back with, Hey at Betty Midler I know it's past your bedtime but if you're still up and reading this send nudes just kidding. At the same time Pink tweeted out a lengthy message praising women who use their brains and not their bodies. During her appearance on WWWL Pink was asked, when you tweeted women using their brains not their body for attention, were you trying to throw some shade at Kim Kardashian or was that people on Twitter jumping to conclusions she responded, honestly she went in one Betty Midler and if you go in on Betty Midler, you're going to hear from me, just don't talk to Betty Midler about anything. Pink also revealed her former enemy and fellow pop princess Christina Aguilera once tried to punch her in a nightclub when their feud got physical. The singer discussed her rivalry with Christina, 36, while making her debut on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live, explaining they were both they were both young, very different and used to being alpha females. Christina and Pink teamed up on the 2001 hit song Lady Marmalade along with Ma and Lil Kim but they had a falling out before recently reconciling. Pink was participating in the show's trademark game Plead the Fifth in which guests are asked three questions and may decline to answer one. Show host Andy Cohen, 49, for the third and final question asked Pink how she and Christina made amends and what was their biggest issue. We were super young and super new at the whole thing. I think I'm an alpha and she's an alpha, Pink said, and I'm used to taking my altercations physical and she's used to having them verbal. We're just very different she added. She concluded, women have to learn how to support each other. It's not taught to us on the playground. Andy followed up by asking Pink if she attempted to get physical with Christina. Actually, she swung on me in a club, which was hilarious. I was like, what's happening right now? What's happening? She said. Pink said she's now on good terms with Christina. We're fine. Look, she's so talented and deep down. I've had bad days too. She's a really sweet person, we made up on The Voice, she said, I mean, it was funny, I laughed, we made up on The Voice, I hadn't seen her in years and years and years and we became moms, we grew up and we hugged it out, it's that simple and I feel so good about that, and also, we did a song together, she added, a caller later asked Pink if she would ever collaborate with Christina again since they've made up, we may or may not have already collaborated. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I just did, Pink replied. The singer during Plead the Fifth also was asked about her song Revenge on her new album Beautiful Drama. She said the song featuring Eminem was not about her husband Kerry Hart. Andy also asked her about her current those on Kanye West after mentioning a critical tweet she made about him in 2009 after he interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech at the MTV Video Music Awards. Pink at the time tweeted, Kanye West is the biggest piece of s on earth, quote me. The singer said she believes Kanye is talented and a genius, I just think some of us can't get out of our own way sometimes, Pink said. Pink also was asked by a caller for her thoughts about silent activists such as singer Taylor Swift, you say what you think, right, you say what's in you, if you have a passion and you have an opinion then share it. If you don't want to, then you don't, Pink replied. Andy noted that she was unapologetic about her vocalness telling fans that if they don't support Black Lives Matter they shouldn't follow her. Pretty much, I was raised with I cannot tolerate injustice and people don't scare me.